Okay, so I wanted to give you some information on uh, teaching music lessons through Zoom with for sound quality. So this is what I've discovered. This can also help with dance lessons as well. The main thing is the turn off original sound and turn on original sound. So Zoom was set up to compress any background noises or what it thinks is background noises. So your instrument a lot of times or background music for dancing is going to sound like a Zoom is going to equivalent it to background noise and try and cut it out. So that obviously doesn't work for what we're trying to do. So this only works, these settings only work unfortunately if you are on a laptop or desktop and your student needs to be on a laptop or desktop as well or else you won't be able to hear on their end because what they're playing, uh, their system is cutting out as background noise and you won't be able to hear it. On your end, if you put these settings on, then they'll be able to hear you uh, and, and whatever instrument you're playing, but if they don't turn these same settings on or off, you won't be able to hear them or their instruments will get cut off. I've heard that most of it has been through drums and it makes a huge difference. So I think for a lot of instruments, this will help. So what you want to do actually is walk your student. Every student's going to see the same thing on the bottom, whether a student or the host, right? They have a couple, you have a couple different things that you can control that they can't, but in general, they can see uh, this information right here. So right next to the stop video, you want to go under video settings and then you want to go down to audio. Okay. Once you've got that down with audio, everything should be built in if they're using a laptop with a built-in camera. You want to go down to advanced. Under advanced settings, one, you can show the meeting option, enable original sound, that will help. But here, suppress background noise, we want to turn that off. Suppress intermediate background noise, we want to turn that off. Okay? So what's going to happen is that will stop your microphone and zoom from thinking that a cymbal crash is background noise that it's cutting off and suppressing. Okay, so once you've got that set, you're going to be able to see or hear your student and their instrument and whatever sound is coming out a lot better. You can obviously adjust those, but I just walked through it with a drum student. Um, his drums were cutting out every other drum hit, and we walked through it together. He turned those two things off, and it sounded like we were just right in the same room. So really, if that's if that's an issue, um, again, I believe it can only work with a laptop and desktop. I don't think those audio settings are, um, you can do it if it's on a mobile device or a cell phone, but you can check and see if that's an option. Um, but if not, and you're having a really hard time, encourage the student if they can get their hands on a laptop or even move their desktop over a little bit uh, to where their instrument is, that would be great. All right, good luck.